Hi everybody, Julie from Nantian Institute. Today I'm talking to Dr. Susan Sumskis, who is the Head of Health at Nantian Institute, and we're chatting about cross-institutional studies. So hi Sue, thank you so hi, much Julie. for taking time. Hello. Um, so I wanted to chat to you about cross-institutional um, studies offered by Nantian Institute. Can you tell me what are cross-institutional studies? Okay, so anybody who's currently engaged in a higher education study, bachelor, master, graduate cert, graduate diploma, that has electives in the subject can choose to study some of those electives at another institute. So we're quite different in the way we deliver education, but I think we're very attractive for that purpose. So, um, yeah, so we've specially set up a range of subjects to be offered across institutional level that students can enrol in. Wow, so if students have the option of electives at their university, can they apply for this study option? They can. All they do is have a look at what we've got on offer via the website and then uh, make some inquiries with us to really get to understand what it is, what's involved, and then if they decide that that's what they would like to do, they need to go to their head of studies at the respective university that they're enrolled at and ask the head of studies for approval to take on some cross institutional external study at another, at another institute. Wow, that's great. So, is it available to any student in Australia? It is. It is available to any student in Australia. The key, as we said, is having electives available. If you've got electives available, you can choose to study outside of your institute. Wow, that's excellent, actually. And how do they benefit from studying in another higher education institute? Look, the, I'll talk about us in particular. The benefit from studying with us is that we have a different way of educating. We have a way of educating that uses, that, that asks for personal development at the same time as professional development. So that's how we stand apart a little bit different is that we ask the students to pay some inner attention to how they're feeling about what they're learning, to what it means for them, to their own beliefs and values. So it isn't just sort of learning about out there. It's learning about this is what is happening, how do I feel about that? And in this way, we actually help shape values and beliefs and, and set those up for more ethical and more compassionate action within the world. Wow, so um, they have a five-day face-to-face digital intensive. What can um, students expect from the five-day digital intensive classroom? Okay, so instead of coming in through the traditional 12 to 14 weeks of the university and doing a two-hour tune here and a two-hour lecture there, Students come online for one week and that's it. Wow. So Monday to Friday, nine to five, digital intensive via Zoom, that's their attendance, all done. And outside of that, the learning requirement is just additional readings and preparing for assessments, but all of the principal learning happens in that one week. And because it's a, a digital intensive and we are a very uh, small institute with a small number of students, it means that there are only be a few students on the screen, it's highly interactive, the teacher, interacts individually with every student in the class and can watch the learning journey of each student. You pay attention and notice, are students engaged, are they engaged, are they learning? Has the time to accept questions and to actually allow people to develop their learning, not just assume, you know, swallow a whole bunch of facts and then run away with the head going like this. Slow learning, time taken, do you understand? What do you understand? How do you understand? How do you feel about this? So we do that over a period of a week, and it isn't just sort of sitting there for the whole week staring at the camera. We might say, now we're going to go for a mindful walk, or we're going to take this topic, and we're going to have a debate about it. And we'll you know, go into a breakout room and debate it. Go and argue about it. Go and, go and argue for your point of view and hear others' points of views and really inform your understanding about something. So it's a very, very interactive, online, offline. Uh, we might do a bit of desk yoga or something. We might do a bit of you know, a bit of um, stretching, we might do a bit of walking, uh, we might say go out and engage with the community, go for a walk, go and notice things, you know, it's, it, we strive to make it quite attractive. Yeah, it just sounds like such a great opportunity. So thank you so much for chatting with me today.